What's going on everybody? This is your fellow Paisano, Rino Zaurini. Welcome to my channel, Soccer Forever per Sempre Calcio. And let's take care of business because today we're going to talk about the day after Juventus. At Roma versus Juventus. Of course, we're back to Juventus news. Might as well let's talk about it. And let, and let me say about my thoughts about this game and what has been... Uh, what everybody's talking about these days after this game. Okay, guys, before anything, put a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, ask any questions, or if you agree, disagree with me, we can uh, discuss it. And if this video is lovely for, for you, you can always share it to people, and, and you can follow me every day, every morning. I'll do it in Italian. Then afternoon, especially at this night time, I do it in English because I have to work. What is it, the beauty to talk about soccer in my lovely Juventus to all of you at this moment? Okay, yesterday's game. Okay, for the first half, I was already sitting with my paisan. I was saying this game is kind of boring. You didn't see no action with Juventus. There, think about it. The two class of Ortomuso, Mr. Mourinho, and of course the master of the Ortomuso, Allegri. They both, they both played defense, especially Roma. They were parking the bus, and there was no way that Juventus could have smashed that bus. But what happened at the second half? As soon as they found an opportunity, counterattack, Mr. Mancini from Roma scored. <laughs> A nice paparella from Shinsky, unfortunately. But then after that game, we see another Juventus. So why is it possible that this Juventus, every time they can see the goal, or Sonomati, they, they do things sideways, or we see aggression? Like, you know, unfortunately, we deserve to lose at this point. How come? The first half, uh, we did not... Uh, get some action whatsoever then as soon we get, get that goal consider that goal i know we have paul uh he has a hit outside you know when the go ball doesn't want to go in especially pogba try to hit a header then the guy blocked him what are you gonna do but we cannot sit there and always say oh we got unlucky siamo sfortunati my God, see, every time that we don't play good, managgia la miseria, there's always an excuse. There's no excuses, okay? Roma beat us after three years for the first time. You understand? Like, I know it wasn't our day yesterday, okay? I wasn't too mad. You can see in my last video I did it in Italian. I was like, whatever, it is what it is. It was a bad catch weekend for Napoli. Uh, Milan... And of course, us. So, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I know a lot of Juventus are mad. Uh, even what Allegri said, oh, if we don't make it through the, the Champions League, no, no, fallimento. It's not a failure. Like, are you kidding me? This is not Juventus, guys. This is not the mentality that we need uh, to bring to these players. And don't get me wrong, Keen, I felt like I got the, hitting him, but it's true that uh, Mancini grabbed him. You know, that wasn't what he did, but nobody talk, gives a yellow card to Mancini. Like, unbelievable, guys. Like, but Valvic, what, what's he doing? You let that guy play for 80 minutes, you, you put uh, a minute uh, keen. Like Valvic, I don't know if it's Allegri's fault or it's him. He's not for Juventus, I believe. The guy can even stop the ball, guys. Yes, we've seen him dominate the Fiorentina, but since he's been with us, like this year, one eight goals. Non c'è grinta. I understand there isn't people pass the ball, but yesterday Kostic, how many balls he passed him, he was behind. But nobody was in the middle there when Kostic, Kostic sent those beautiful cross. Like, uh, non va bene. Non va bene, ragazzi. This is not uh, not good. At the end of the day, 
you know, this is uh, sacred, la palla è tonta, the ball is around. But porca la miseria, don't sit there tell me that every time we lose or something, it's, uh, we're unlucky and siamo sfortunati in all, in all this bullshit. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. We're going to be realistic and say that we did not play good enough after the first goal that we got conceded. Because it can be possible every time we, we get uh, conceded a goal, there's a different set of Juventus. And you know, oh, before you guys didn't have no action, but after the goal, we said this with Yadi. You guys all wake up all the sun. It's it's too much, guys. It's too much. Like, I've been here since this morning through other people. My friends from Italy, they're really mad. Like, you know, they don't want to even hear the word of Allegri. But, uh, like I said, I'm not no anti-Allegriano, no Allegriano. You understand? Unfortunately, he's going to stay. And for the bad or good, we get accept what we can i know in the juventus world if we don't win a trophy let's say at least the coppa italia or maybe win the europa cup which europa league which i think it's really hard guys you know you know what i mean like it's gonna take a long time i know people are saying that it, i like this fault with regards with valvic but you people want the 4-3-3. How can you do the 4-3-3, guys? In this condition. Like, we, we have to test this 4-3-3. Maybe. Maybe with Sabdoria. But we tried with uh, Nantes. And it was like a Magello, buddy. Like, we, we got to maybe try it out when the full squad is perfect perfectly healthy or if we get some other players I don't know because Pogba is given some minutes like I understand the guy he still needs the the green but like he did some nice action he, like Pogba still has it no matter you don't like the guy or like him but you know you can tell he's kind of scared even when he was hitting uh close to the goalie there he's it still hasn't snapped at him because those injuries man uh, it's not easy as much as I said that, that I did not want him, but unfortunately the guy is there. As long as he, he proves, uh, as long as he doesn't become like a Dybala or Ramsey, uh, you know, plays these few games and then no not the pew. So I hope to see him at Nantes. I'm not saying full time. A second half, instead of 30 minutes, maybe the, the first half of the second half, the first, you know, to give him those 45 minutes. If you agree with me, eh, it is what it is. Uh, because with Vlaovic, I don't know. Even a lot of my Serbian friends, they said the same thing. Because we all know uh, one Serbian player, I think from Fiorentina, Jovic or something, uh, that plays with Real Madrid. He didn't last long. In Vlaovic, what he thinks he's gonna go to Real Madrid, and boom! Like if you don't uh, score there. You're out. And I don't think Real Madrid is going to take him if they ever sell him. So he has to have a lot of thinking in his head and he has to put his head down. And I hope by t Thursday I see another Valvich because this is too much. So, so don't you start bene, Carlo Valvich? The fa quattro passi. Chiesa is getting his minutes, which tonight, as you see over there, this is an old shirt of Chiesa. I don't have the number seven. It's on officially North America. Unfortunately, I don't have the VPN. It's on Prime Video, The Life of Keza. So go check it out, which I'm going to check it out tonight. Can't wait. And these are my little recap to what I think about this game, just to give a little heads up. Because in reality, this is the thing with some fans. You can ignore reality, but you can ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. Unfortunately, in life, you don't get what you deserve in life, but you only get what you negotiate. And in this moment, we're not negotiating properly. So there's no point in finding an excuse. Oh, uh, you know, I say I'm a sfortunato. No, basta con le bullshit. Unlucky this. We did not get 
close the deal. We didn't do the job properly because we have the same mentality, uh, you know, the, the Allegri style, unfortunately. So we got to be more aggressive because Thursday, man, <laughs> because it won't be easy. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, we're free, Burgo. We should be fine. Yeah, we heard that with uh, Villarreal, Lyon, uh, Porto. Come on, guys. Come on. I only hope we go through. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what's going to happen in the first leg, but I hope because after that, next week we're going against Inter. <laughs> and that's not going to be easy in home as long as we got the players. But you got to put the green that there, or else if you don't score two, three goals with Inter, you know, because let's say knock on wood. Inter loses this week. Yeah. Let's if they lose this week. Maybe if they lose with Porto, they're going to put the, all the anger towards us. Because we all know Inter, they win yesterday. Then they might tie this week and with Porto. I won't be so sure either because Porto, they can be dangerous. So I'm just going to be heads up because if they beat them, we're screwed on Sunday. Plus, I'm going to Mexico. So. Hopefully, it will be a good trip when I get there. Because when I get there, I will know the results. So, hopefully, <laughs> my lovely Juventus will give me luck. Anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, leave the comments down the below. And I will talk to you tomorrow for some <coughs> other news. Because Tuesday, Milan is playing at the Champions League. And then Thursday... Of course, Juventus, Freiburg, and Roma and Real Soledad at the Europa League. On Thursday, I'm going to be live uh, at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So stay tuned, my fellow friends. i keep you updated. Sempre fino, a, fino alla fine. Viva l'Italia. Forza Italia. E let's enjoy some calcio, ladies and gentlemen. Ciao, ciao. Soccer forever per sempre calcio. Ciao ciao ragazzi.